Good morning. It is 5 a.m. And what am I doing awake at 5 a.m. on a Saturday morning? I'm going to Hiroshima. I'm going to visit two of my friends for the weekend. It's a three-day weekend. Uh, it's Silver Week, so actually next week I only go to work for three days. So I'm pretty excited about that. There's lots of holidays. And there's like nobody out here. It's really weird. Uh, so it's one of my friend's birthdays, and we're gonna go spend the weekend with her, and I'm gonna see another friend. It's gonna be awesome since I didn't get to say goodbye to them when I left Interac a few weeks ago, so I'm really excited to see them and spend some time in Hiroshima. I haven't been to Hiroshima yet, so we're gonna go to the castle and the museum and the peace park, but first I gotta get to the bus station. I plan to catch the 6 a.m. bus so I could be there for pretty much the entire day. It'll get to Hiroshima about 8 o'clock. Alright, I still have 2.3 kilometers to go, so it's about a 40-45 minute walk to uh, the station. So it's going to take a while still. It's actually supposed to be raining right now. There's another typhoon coming through, but I got real lucky. So, I'm going to finish these last 30 minutes walking to the station. I'm going to be really fit living here without a car. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys later. Yes. And the bread is so warm. <laughs> it feels really warm. It's a shrimp and avocado sandwich and a honey latte, iced coffee. I'm so excited. <laughs> That's Chardonnay. It's almost her birthday. <laughs> Look at these puppies. Oh my gosh. They're so tiny. One is like that. Oh. I miss my kitty. They got squeaked. I want to hold the kitty. That one's like trembling. He's like, leave me alone. But That's they're so, so adorable. Oh. Yeah, he's like, leave me alone. Right like his tail is upset. <laughs> oh. I gotta get the litter box to excuse <laughs> Chihuahuas are so popular, but... Chardonnay got the special Halloween burger at Lotteria. <laughs> that looks kind of gross. <laughs> it looks like a silly putty. Almost. Oh, it does. Take a bite. Oh, not bad. Is it cheesy? Uh, I just got the plain boring cheeseburger. So did Kim. <laughs> it was really good though. I'll have to try it next time. The carps won, so it's a really big deal. Now it's my first time at Hiroshima Castle, so I'm really excited to see it. It looks like it's really pretty. Is this one that's been... Uh, it's been reconstructed? Oh, of course. Yeah, it looks pretty deserted today. I'm kind of surprised for a Saturday. Maybe I'll try to Right. But usually there are very many Japanese people here. Well, yeah, this seems like a very touristy place. The only time I've ever seen a lot of Japanese is at the shrine. Yeah, we'll have to go visit the shrine too. Oh, 
You grab me a pair? Yeah. Thanks. I always slide around in these shoes, it's really bad. Wow. So I've never been inside like the guard area before. fan themselves this is where I need to, be. to get over the summer heat. <laughs> Amazing though, isn't there? Like fresh yeah, cut so cedar. Bad, but yeah, fresh yeah, but like it's too hot. It is too hot. <laughs> the bomb. So this tree survived the bomb? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, it's not really a, a city of onsens unless you go kind of out. Matsuya, that was a city of onsens. Yeah, there's a lot where I live too. Yeah, I just haven't. Yeah, this is a eucalyptus. Is it? Are you a tree? Wow. It smells like, like it's in the street. Yeah. It's a bit random that it was even here. I wonder yeah. how it got here. What? The tree survived the 6th August 1945 atomic bombing of Hiroshima, approximately 740 meters away from the yeah, take a picture hypo the center. So look, this is where the bomb dropped. Uh huh. And this is the castle where we are right now. Oh wow, so that's... that's where the bomb was. And that's this, and this tree survived it hitting that close. Real close tree. It's relaxing, and there's turtles. It is very relaxing. It's very quiet here. Which is, it, it makes it easy to come right here and just like read me. Yeah. Oh, look at you. You are cute. That one is a mustache. No, turtles. Yeah, I see the turtle. I don't know if my camera will pick him up. Oh, there he is. He is big. Mm. I feel like they probably go to their environment. Like this is a pretty big area. They can probably have space to be bigger. That's why I think koi koi do that too, right? Yes. They grow to the sides of their environment. I'll climb up the stairs. It's so Grab pretty. I cannot believe there's no one around. This is crazy. Them everybody must have come in the morning. You can climb up these ones. 
Oh. Those ones, I mean, these look safer, for sure. <laughs> yes. Okay. I mean, it's a good view of the moat. It is getting pretty hot now that it's like it's late afternoon. Oh well, yeah, because it's been cloudy all day. Okay. Is this where you can get your fortune told? Yes. So inside I can see it. My fortune or like my blood type? Um, your blood type will be on the fortune. The wooden blocks oh, are called Emma? Married? Maybe. Oh, yes, yeah, somebody is getting married. Oh, snap. I don't know if you can see like inside. I know. Here, let's go over this way. Which way? Which way? One way. This way. I'll tell you about Emma. <laughs> so, yeah, these wooden blocks are Emma. So, basically, you just write your wish on them and you hang them up. In my house? No, on here, and then it'll come true, supposedly. So they're really cool. And then these ones, you can get at any of those stations over there. These are the fortunes, and sometimes they're with your blood type too. So if you, um, if you get a bad one, you tie it up, and then it makes the bad luck go away. So you can buy them over here. Right. So, I think you just pick one. They're called Omikuji. I'm not quite sure what the difference are. Yeah, but the kanji, that one almost looks like children, so that one might be for children. And then they're 100 yen. And one for men? I don't see. Omikuji, no? No, they all say Omikuji. I'm a little confused. I don't think it matters that much. We found English ones. <laughs> I got an excellent one. Ears of rice are shining like golden waves. Thanks to God we'll have a good harvest this year. How good your fortune is, everything will go all right. Nothing to worry about. Work hard at any time. Do not give yourself up to drinking or illicit love. And I wish you'll realize it as you wish. Don't care about what others say. Expected visitor, no news, but he or she will surely come. Missing thing, it can be found, but it takes time. Travel, good, but choose your company. Oh boy. My, uh, choose your for, company. For love, it says, uh, he or she is the very person you should follow. <laughs> what is that? Oh, business, go and get profit. Maybe that means we will business, get paid soon. Not so good now, you'll get little profit. My oh no! Will give you little profit. Love. Find out what he or she really is. Oh, find out. <laughs> Love, he or she is the very person you've been looking for. Oh, God. Removal, all right. Childbirth, all right. No trouble. Mine says easy birth. <laughs> Marriage proposal. Too many proposals. You may feel puzzled. Make up your mind calmly. Mine says it seems to be settled, but it won't go well. Leave it to someone and it will go well. <laughs> Mine is be careful not to be persuaded against your will. Ooh. That's, a good one. that's sketchy. And travel, be alert on the beams. Yeah. Let's just take care of yourself and your belongings. Missing right. thing, you can find it, but it takes a long time to find it. This could be good. Expected visitor. Though he will be late, he is sure to come. Oh, nice. So, I think if they're good luck, you tie them up too, because then it'll come true. Isn't that right? Oh, so, is it the bad luck ones? Or is it the bad luck or the bad and the good luck? I don't know. I don't remember. I broke mine trying to tie it up. Now it's oh, not gonna come bad. true, I know, oh no. Some black sesame ice cream because it's really hot. Sake! And Chardonnay got sake flavored and it actually has sake in it. Mm. And Kim has the black sesame too, it's so good. I've been devouring mine. I really, I really like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like uh, the same, same feeling I get when I eat like rum raisin. 
Mm. Oh, you can see the castle just a little bit up there. There's only a few parts in the museum where photography is okay. Those windows are so pretty. I wish we could see unobstructed. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty mountainous where you are. Yeah, but I'm also right on the ocean. Oh yeah, nice. So it's nice. But it's also, it can get really windy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's Chardonnay way down there. <laughs> she didn't want to come up. Oh my gosh, there's more. So Master Chef Chardonnay made dinner. And it's raining today, so we can't do anything but shop. What a shame. It stopped raining, so we can finally go out and do things. <laughs> so this is Gimbaku Dome. And it was definitely part of the bomb blast. I, I don't see any information on this. Um, but I mean, that building is really, really destroyed. This is as close as we can get to it. Yeah. Everything looked like this and just like They don't have anything like this in Nagasaki. <laughs> like, I mean they have some things in the museum, but they don't have like entire buildings. This is crazy. So we just learned that this bridge was the intended target for the bomb blast and it actually survived. Uh, I mean it was damaged but it wasn't reconstructed until the 1980s. It was still usable so that is really cool. I had to break out my umbrella because it started raining but here is the Peace Park. It actually looks a lot smaller than the Peace Park in Nagasaki. 
Yeah, it looks really tiny. Did they combine it as uh, the piece part plus the dome? It's very possible, because like, that... This is all the piece part, so the dome, well not the bomb dome, but like that. The dome also seemed a lot more um, packed with people. <laughs> yes, I am. Wow. Oh, that's heavy. It is. It's really heavy. Wow. That really vibrates. They're not that hard. I think it just takes practice. So these are all made from paper cranes, which is a huge symbol of peace. <laughs> you can't really avoid the pole. And then there's another bell over there. Oh, that's actually kind of good. Our umbrellas keep touching. <laughs> Well, he did come here recently. That's really cool. They must have just made this one. It's quite funny. <laughs> oh, I see the one of the parts of the Bell's paper crane. another memorial. No. Mm, yes, so we are inside the Peace Museum. You might cry. If it's anything like the Nagasaki Atomic Bomb Museum, you might cry. <laughs> You're gonna see children, I'm sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Nagato box. <laughs> this is in Nagasaki too. It's still rice in it. Wow, that actually looks like it's in very good condition still. This tricycle though, is killing me. There's three and a half, no, three years. Yeah, three years old. I mean, just look at the damage on it. So that was incredibly depressing. Oh, it was very sad. <laughs> I mean, I've been to the Nagasaki one and it was way worse. We needed a warning sign on this. Seriously. So um, we found a mall nearby and it looks like there's a Pokemon Center in it. So we're going there. Ciao. <laughs> we, uh, we need to pack. Uh, yeah, I can speak. We need to get happy again. So naturally my camera would die right when we were about to go to the Pokemon Center. So I figured I'd show you what I got there really quick. So I got a sleeping Volpix. They have a, a sleeping Pokemon collection and it's so cute. So I got one to go with the sleeping Eevee I got last time at the Tokyo Pokemon Center. And then, of course, I had to get some omiyage to bring back for my teachers and friends, so I love this box. So, of course, I had to pick this one. And it's got little cookies inside. If I can open it. And it's nice because there's enough for everybody in there. And they're really cute. And they have little Pokemon on them. So I'm really excited to bring this to school. And just in case I didn't have enough, I got a second one because, I mean, look at that. <laughs> it's adorable. Um, and this is matcha rusk. So it's like hard bread with a, like a matcha brushed on top. It's really good. Of course, I had to try one. But also, I really wanted the box. So I was not going to spend a lot of money on this Hiroshima trip, but finding out that there's a Pokemon Center in Hiroshima kind of changed the game a little bit. I also went to the Shonen Jump store. I'm really excited that we found that because my love for Naruto just knows no bounds. So of course I had to get some things there. I got this pin. Sasuke. He is my favorite. I actually, one of my students is a big fan of Sasuke too, so we, we bonded over that. And this is the best part. So there wasn't a lot of Naruto stuff there, which is really weird because Naruto is actually still pretty popular in Japan. So I was searching the Naruto section and I found this glass 
and I just fell in love with it. So we have Naruto and his family on one side and Sasuke and his family on the other and I thought that was so cool and I was so excited to get this. And it was only like 800 yen, so I mean, that's totally worth it for a cup, right? And then I have a little pin collection on my backpack for places that I've been. So I had to stop at uh, Hiroshima Castle and get a pin there. This one is from the Bomb Dome that we visited. And then this one is from the castle. So this will go right next to my Osaka castle pin. And I also got a little free gift from the junk store too. I guess they give you free gifts if you spend like $10 or something. So I'm not quite sure what the intention of this is, but you got to pick between like 13 of these. And of course I picked the Naruto one. So that was really cool. Uh, Hiroshima was a ton of fun. I really want to go back and visit my friends again and see more things because two days I guess just wasn't enough um but yeah that's about it so I'll see you guys next time bye